you're about to learn how you can bring your framework's website to the stats and what does that mean for you a faster website and a website that ranks on google so this or the mobile score and this is the desktop score could be better for, uh, on small things like properly size the images i can actually more i could uh, optimize them more but just like it's already good so i don't mind and this one is another medspa website this is not mine <laughs> just to, for 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 clarification here uh, perhaps it's a uh, wix squarespace or words wordpress website um, you can check that out with built with dot com midtown Mitzpa. okay so it's a wordpress website wordpress usually is are great you know, i mean for performance you can see that even though the diagnosis performance is kind of shitty they pass the core web vitals assessment still for desktop they fail and it's nothing is green so it's kind of shitty and i can tell you that they lose a lot a lot a lot of people i mean visitors that could turn into customers and i'm gonna reach out to them actually to pitch my services anyway how can you go to this score i'm gonna start with the first part which is the structure of the page how you should structure everything in terms of best practices and accessibility and then we're going to touch up on performance so how do you optimize your images and how do you rank for the keywords here like how do you do that so let's get right into it so this is behind the scene of the website i'm going to start with how i set up the page so this is a local med spa in montreal and they are ranking for a lot a lot of keywords i'm just gonna start to show you what keywords they are ranking for so medical spa montreal we are on the 10 position it's a highly competitive keyword though so meaning that's okay the website has only been like up for five months or so if we do medical spa in the suburb which is called vertu then we are first position if we do clinical beauty i think oh no it's beauty clinic beauty clinic montreal first position so a lot of, a lot of good keywords here in cryopolysis this is the service montreal first position directly if we do in french cryo the montreal we are fourth position in french so yeah we are present in a lot a lot of a lot of keywords and even the blog post is ranking on the first position so how do we structure the page first and foremost you have to think of your keyword and for in this case it's a medical spa so there's a lot of alternative words for it like medical aesthetic clinic beauty clinic uh, like beauty center institute and all of those keywords but we want to rank for medical spa and uh, beauty clinic so here you can see beauty clinic montreal medical spa montreal let me show you what i did with the page so i include the name of the business this is by default by the way if you go just to general this is by default medical spa in montreal Ima beauty is a top rated medical spa offering a wide range of beauty treatments in montreal code ver2 so this is the perfect description without keyword stuffing because if we if someone is going to search for a top rated medical spa in montreal this is going to like get ranked if we try this i don't i didn't even try it top rated medical spa montreal i guess we are on the top position or not 
yeah it's very competitive from what i'm seeing well, we're not ranking for that but i guess in the future we will that's for sure <laughs> top rated medical spa montreal is yeah we are here like very low though but still you see this is exactly what i'm talking about this is the description top rated medical spa montreal it's been picked up and so the more we have reviews the more reviews we have the more credibility and backlinks and so on it's gonna get ranked on here so this is mostly for local businesses and so if you have a local business then just follow along and you'll be good on your way out so this is how i structure the page and this is also very important like the um how do you call that i mean okay page social image the, the title is here but there's another word i think it's open graph and uh, i like to include the address and the phone number as big as possible because when someone is sharing this with his friend you can see the the um, the phone number directly right away and so we establish the mental real estate with the branding and the phone number the address so we right away she knows where she, where, where the business is and what the number is next up how do we structure the page like visually speaking and the structure here um, for your website as i spoke to you about in the beginning we have the first keyword which is medical spa montreal so this one is the h1 you can see here accessibility tag h1 then we have h2 then we have a paragraph then we have an h3 and all of this here did all the heavy lifting like beauty clinic montreal ranking medical spa montreal ranking plus you have on the settings here medical spa montreal medical spa montreal again like the keyword is sprinkled pretty much everywhere and that's why the pages are ranking if we go to here also on the on the footer we have montreal with an accent and that's on purpose for people writing montreal with an accent on google as well that will help rank better so that's the first part we can select the other section are h2 that's a span that's a span that's a span could be h32 by the way but span is still good then paragraph 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 and then again this is an h2 this is an h2 and what's crazy so you see here those are categories of treatments and why this is important like why do i include this in the home page and anywhere else for instance in the contact page i know for a fact that this keyword here body contouring body contouring convert to so you see here this is the page like the contact page is ranking with those keywords body contouring convert to and it's ranking because of that if I do Montreal, I don't, I'm not sure if that's going to, is ranking right away. No, we are not ranking for this yet. Yeah, we are not ranking for right, right away, but we are still here. I mean, perhaps in the 25th position. It's going to take time, but still, it's important that you sprinkle the keywords pretty much everywhere. So this is the structure part, like how do you optimize your entire page and accessibility. Accessibility is everything related to someone who cannot see and read your website. And so it's going to read them for, uh, like, like they have a machine that reads your website for them so that's why you have to make things accessible and even me here there's one thing that this is why it's not 100 i don't even know how to fix that 
I'm going to find it. I'm going to fix it. But very, very important that you give the right tags for everything on your website. And you see like the homepage is very light because we just want wanted to funnel people toward what they want. They can either go by category or by treatment right away. And so, yeah, that's the homepage. Now for the performance, it all comes down to your images, like the sizes of your images and how do you optimize them? So I use this website here, tiny PNG and also jpeg to w web p web page i guess this is how the format what's the format so you convert all of your images from jpeg to web page and then you're going to upload your your image here the, your web page here let me actually just find a picture to show you how crazy it is download for example this picture here it's a web page. You can see the first size is 155 KB. And then, oh, okay, because it was already optimized. That's why it's not that big of a difference. But if we take something, let's see. Okay, for example, this one. This is like from a, from pixels that I had. Let me see. It's a JPEG. So I would have converted it to web page before going to jpeg what is going on okay so it's almost half but still this is too big i would like change it to web page and then optimize the web page photo and also you can see that like all of my pictures that i use for the metspa they have a name like i name them with keywords so for instance this one Ima Beauty underscore Medical Spa Montreal. And then same thing here. I would say, uh, I don't even know, but like something with Medical Spa Montreal as well. And here I don't even have an alt text for the image. Medical Spa. So I'm doing it with, with you. Ima Beauty. A photo showing the owner of Ima Beauty Medical Spa Smiling in Montreal. And then you can do the same thing here. So that's we women model women smiling. Mm. <laughs> this is so odd man oh my god smiling and from actually three and do i see did I, oh yeah three model women smiling or a photo in a medical spa in montreal all right and then yeah that's pretty much it basically this is how you add the alt text and then also let me show you something for the cms collection so i have two cms collection here one for the treatments and one for the blog and let's say here you can see that every picture that i have I do have also an alt text for them. So a health portrait photo, blah, blah, blah. Okay. A health portrait photo for women who has taken a lip detox treatment at Ima Beauty, a medical spa in Montreal. And then I have the meta description with the keywords as well. And so, yeah, always include your keywords for every page that you have. Like you can sprinkle the main keyword, which is medical spa in Montreal. I want this keyword to be on every single page, if that possible. And then you use your common sense and your strategy to uh, include other keywords in your pages. Here I can see Lip Detox Montreal. And then we have here, for example, Lip Blush Montreal. We see here, let me see, Lip Blush 
Montreal. Do we rank for that? So competitive. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, yeah, even though the main service that we wanted to rank for was cry policies and we were successful ranking for it because i did more more research and so on but you see here again a woman taking a cold sculpting treatment in a medical spa in montreal could wear too so yeah i tried to include as many details as possible with the image and again in the meta description i use the keyword and i always always add the business name and the address with the suburb and that helps with ranking so to summarize main keyword h1 if we go to the other pages i you see here treatments so treatments is kind of simple but in the footer, footer is important to have your address so you can have a chance to rank for every single page and you as you can see here even the contact page like i include those if people are looking for information then they will go to contact us they will see this and still they could use this for you know fi finding their the treatment they're interested in if you have any more questions just drop them down in the description and if you need any help with your seo just book a consultation call with me in the description see you next time